In this series, I'm going to give an overview of NuGet and .NET package management. I'll explain what NuGet is, how it can benefit developers at all experience levels, and the best ways to use it. I'll specifically be diving deep into some exciting new features in NuGet and how it fits into the development lifecycle with the latest and greatest .NET version, as well as your favorite IDE or editor, like Visual Studio Code. So whether you're brand new to all things C Sharp, .NET, or open source, or you're an experienced pro, there's something here for everyone. So let's kick things off with the basics. What exactly is NuGet anyway, and why should you care? At its core, NuGet is the official package manager for .NET development. It's a tool that simplifies the process of incorporating third-party libraries and packages into your .NET projects. You can think of it as an app store for your code, where you can easily search for, install, and manage reusable components that can supercharge your development workflow. Plus, you can create and publish your own packages to contribute to the NuGet community. Now, before I get into too much detail, some of you might be wondering, what exactly is a package? A package is essentially a compiled code library packed together with descriptive metadata into a nice shareable unit. NuGet is here to simplify the process of sharing these units between developers to avoid having to start from scratch or reinvent the wheel for any common functionality. NuGet provides a vast repository of pre-built packages, making it really easy to find and integrate the tools and functionality that you need to build the specific project that you are working on. So let's take a look at NuGet.org to get a specific understanding of what exists in our package ecosystem. As of September of 2023, there are over 375,000 packages on the NuGet repository, with over 400 billion downloads across all packages. And believe it or not, these numbers are continuing to grow exponentially every day. Just since 2020, we've seen the total number of packages in the NuGet registry nearly triple, showcasing the rapid growth and development of the .NET ecosystem. These packages serve a continuously growing variety of use cases, empowering developers with an ever-expanding array of resources to accelerate innovation in their projects. Now, with that said, let's take a closer look at some NuGet packages. This is the page that you're going to see whenever you're searching for a package on NuGet.org. You'll see that NuGet provides a lot of information right at a glance just like a short description of the package, the total number of downloads, the last time it was updated, and of course, the owners of the package and the unique package ID. If we click on the package ID, we see even more package-specific information, like a link to the project website, a link to the repository so you can check out documentation or source code, as well as the license that it falls under, so you can see any restrictions associated with its use. Just like how you can download packages to use in your .NET projects, NuGet projects may have their own dependencies that need to be downloaded and installed right alongside them. This ensures that your package functions correctly within your project. Dependencies can create a hierarchy of, or a chain of interconnected packages where one package relies on others, which in turn might rely on more packages. On NuGet.org, you can see a list of any dependencies that a certain package might have, as well as a list of other packages that might use this package as a dependency of their own. You can utilize the information provided here to determine if a certain package is right for you. I'll go into more detail about determining package quality in a later video in this series. If you ultimately decide, this seems like the perfect package for me, then you can see installation instructions for various tools right at the center of your screen. As you can see, NuGet provides so much helpful information to facilitate the package sharing process. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, NuGet is here to make your life easier. So I know, all of this sounds amazing. And you're probably dying to know, how do I get started? If you're using .NET SDK, then congratulations. You don't have to do anything more, as NuGet comes pre-installed with all of the latest versions of .NET. While you can interact with NuGet through NuGet.org, like I just showed, NuGet also provides tools to meet developers right where they work. If you're a Visual Studio .NET developer, then you'll love that NuGet package management is built right into Visual Studio. You can browse for packages just like you can on NuGet.org and see a lot of the same information surface. When using Visual Studio code, you can interact with NuGet and perform package management and maintenance operations through the .NET CLI, or command line interface. I'll give a lot more detail about how exactly to do this in a later video in this series. So thanks for watching this quick introduction about .NET package management using NuGet. In the next video in this series, I will go into some more information about navigating and exploring the NuGet gallery, as well as some more specific information about how you can determine the quality of a specific NuGet package. So I'll see you next time.